It's a lonely night. Everybody's happy. Been turning around. Hey, what up, Scorpio? How is it going? For good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is September the 7th. Sorry I'm a little late for you guys reading, but it's early enough in September for you to kind of get a good idea. And one thing I notice, guys, when I listen to readings for my sign, of course I read for myself. I'm a person I like objective opinions. I like comparison points. So I could listen to readings for my sign over and over and over and over again until I drive myself crazy. But I find that sometimes the energy through, throughout the month changes like so sometimes if I listen to a reading for my sign say the before the month hits and then I listen to readings or even do a reading for myself after the month month hits a lot of times the energies G, energies will change which does show you energy is ever moving ever changing ever sh shifting and, it, and it's very um transmutable so with that said I'm just saying that to say with time frames you know readings are always right on time guys so anyway, um, that's just my little, you know, pardon me past speech about being late. So, um, hey Scorpios, what up, what up, what up? Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome, awesome September as we wake up, make our way to the end of the year, uh, to the end of October, November for you guys as Earth Days. So, what's up out there with all of my secretive, secretive Scorpios, fellow water sign? Hope you guys have been good. So I'm just shuffling the cards, not going to do a really long intro. These are general um, readings that may or may not resonate with you. For something more personal, check out my um, email in the description. Just hit me up and ask for a reading or hit up any astrologer of your choice, a tarot reader of your choice for something more personal. And uh, so let's hop into a Scorpio. I'm just shuffling the cards. We're going to do the four card format. The first card I pull is going to be from the bottom of the deck for kind of like a overall energy coming in to September and then the consecutive weeks. And we'll just read it kind of all together how it goes. And then I'll um, do a fifth card, which will be the tarot oracle card for the heart. One second. I got candles burning and it's hot. All right. I need to turn the air on. So... That's what it's going to be. Let me just shuffle a little bit more. Get some um, energy for, from Spirit for Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm going into the reading for this month. Um, just a little thing for you guys. It's just, um, I forgot what it was. Like whispers. I don't want to say secret, secretive in being secret. I, I swear, I forgot what you guys' key word, what came to me was, but it had something to do with just basically the overall point was just kind of keep it. You made the best advice me just to be keep things above board this month, Scorpio. I don't know things uh, things are a little sneaky, a little whispers. I don't know what's going on. So let's just see in your read now. It, that's just how I was feeling. If it resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you're a Scorpio, so I know it's always something going on, something you over there spying or looking into or whatever. I'm sure you got your pulse on everything, being the water sign that you are. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do one more shuffle then I'm gonna cut the deck and we'll go from there Scorpio hope you guys have been good it's been some crazy energy going on this past week it's like we're in a Saturn time um, people learning lessons kind of getting with getting you know getting what you set in motion getting the return of the karma you put out just a lot of things being put to the test um, this past weekend and I, it, hopefully and with mercury being in retrograde too so just a lot going on with the planets and the aspects and just kind of making it a little difficult I think for some people to really communicate to um, really set their life on the right path um, in regards to some obstacles that may be in your way and kind of overcoming those things and learning lessons so that you don't repeat the same things. So that's that's what could be going on for a lot of people right now. So uh, I don't even recall if I cut the deck. I have no idea. So I'm going to I'm going to do it again. I'm sorry, guys. It's early. 
I usually don't do readings this early, but I really want to get this done for you guys, um, seeing as though it's already the 7th of September. Now I just cut the deck, so let's go. The first card out for Scorpio is going to be the Three of Wands. That card popped over when I was shuffling. I didn't take it out. Nine times out of ten, unless I really get an energy to hold a card out, I will. Um, a lot of times cards turn over. Sometimes they fall out. If something from Spirit says that that's really speaking as a message, I'll use it. A lot, most times I put them back in the deck and say, well, if they come out again, it's meant to be just as kind of like a little confirmation. So that three of wands really was meant to be for the Scorpios. The next card is the three of pentacles in reverse threes. Okay, Scorpio. You see, you already know you got a, you got a, um, you got a theme of threes. Now, I don't know if this card is going to come out, but I'll tell you that you really have a tri tri triplicity of threes, which... Um, still takes you up to like sixes and nines and things like that. So stages and phases, phases I feel like for Scorpio. And I'll tell you about the other um, card w once I lay two more from this deck. The next card is the Ten of Wands. So coming to a new cycle and closing a cycle, moving through a cycle. And then the last card is the Five of Pentacles. And then we'll lay a tarot oracle card for the heart at the end just to see, you know, get some advice for this energy. And before I go into the reading, what I'll say is um, the other three that, that fell out onto the floor, I could have used a card. Didn't really want to use that card for you guys, but I feel it has a, it's, it's sort of like of, um, it's a, a backdrop of this reading, and I just want you to keep it in mind as I go through the reading. I'm not going to read for that card. It did not come out a second time, but I feel like it, it definitely is a, is an energy in Scorpio's realm right now. And the card, it actually, a lot of times I give cards more credit when they fall out, if they fall out and fall upright. You know, if the card's still face down, a lot of times I don't even pay that any attention. But when they fall upright, like I said, a lot of times I'll look, make a mental note, put them back in the deck. If something really strong says use the card, then I'll use the card. Most times I don't. But the card that had fell out of the deck, turned over on the floor, like right in front of my face, as if it was staring at me, was a three of swords. <laughs> as you can see why I didn't necessarily want to give you that card. Let's go. It's seven minutes in. Damn, Scorpio, I ain't started to read. And I don't even feel like I've been talking for seven minutes. So it was a three of swords. So I'm saying that to say you got two threes right out of the gate, which does represent some a stalemate, um, some like stewing. Not really movement and a little challenge in there as well. So starting off with the three of wands, like we just talked about, it's not movement. It's contemplation of movement, contemplation of which direction you should go, which area you want to take your business, your moves, your plans, your decisions. It could even be your relationships. Um, the three wands stand there as pillars for possible growth. Um, you're, you're already accomplished. You're already at a certain point in the journey. Um, you may just be sitting there thinking about what you've done up, what you've done up to this point, what has culminated up to this point, and then, um, kind of where you want to take that and which direction you want to go in, um, to grow whatever it is that you're doing and to get to the next phase and to that next step. So I think coming into September Scorpios, you really are just surveying what you're doing, what's going on in your life, where you're focusing your attention and your direction and, um, kind of getting your mental thoughts to prepare for action as far as uh, what direction you want to go and what you want to do and um, where you want to take uh, your opportunities from here. So maybe which opportunities you want to take, which ones you don't, um, maybe what things you want to invest in, what things you don't, who you want to do business with, who you don't, how you want to do business, what direction you want to move in in regards to those things. Because you may have coming up on a three of pentacles and reverse Next, you may have had been working on some things or doing some things that you really don't feel like you got your just dues for or that it was completed to your satisfaction or that the work was appreciated or done well. Now, you could have been working hard and did a really good job and you just didn't really get your just dues or necessary appreciation or um, maybe you kind of faltered or, or what you produced or what the work you've done, you may not be totally um, satisfied with now that it's at a point where others are seeing it or it's being surveyed, it's being looked at, or it's time to present that. And, and that may be why you had the two threes back 
to back, kind of seeing where you want to go at as far as this work, as far as what you've been working on. I feel like it's, it's somewhat of a crossroads. Um, this kind of asking Scorpio, do you want to keep going in the direction you're going in? Is it the right thing for you? Um, I'm getting a heavy work focus, but this could also mean relationships and other things in your life as well. Even when it comes to um, furthering educations, furthering your talents and things like that to improve your work and improve what you do or to move in a direction and expand your business expand your business and expand your work in a way where it's more prosperous for you and it makes you happy. I mean, maybe you're looking from going from something that's a job to actually going to something you like doing or you're happy with or you're happy doing. And that could, you know, um, be shown, uh, that could be, what I want to say, that could be um, an example, that could be seen in the Ten of Wands card as the person with the Ten of Wands is taking these Ten Wands and moving them to another place. So, um, what I mean by that is, as you survey which direction you want to go, as you as you see what you want to do, you may have to ga gather all your wares, gather everything you've done up to this point. I mean, wares is like an older word for your work, which you sell your goods. So you may have to gather all the things that you've kind of done up into this point and move them on. Move them on. The 10 is a close of a cycle. It brings it back to the one. Move it, move it on to a place that's going to be more beneficial for you in the next direction that you're supposed to go in in your life. Um, life happens in cycles. Things happen, you know, in, in periods. So what you've been doing so far, I feel like you're not really getting a lot of satisfaction out of or you're not getting your just dues or your credits or your recognition that you should. So you really want to pick that up and you want to spin it around and really do something with it. Um, take it to a new place, take it to a new height, take it to a new level and just move on to a new phase, a new stage that is more um, complementary with who you are and where you really want to be and what you want to do, Scorpio. I mean, you want to run your program, you want to be comfortable in doing that and um, the things that you do, you want to be, of course, recognized for your hard work, your good work and things like that. And um, coming to the end of September, as you what you'll run into or that what you may run into with the five of pentacles is just really realizing it is going to be hard work, but there is, um, a light at the end of the tunnel. There is gold at the end of the, uh, at the end of the rainbow and you're not alone. You're not, um, you know, the 10, you see the wands and it's like, he's moving these wands. He's taking them to somewhere else. The five could also represent, um, a move, a travel, a journey, making a journey. And neither one of these cards represent that it's going to be necessarily easy. But they do represent that um, what lies ahead of the potential, that there is good, very good potential there. The five is going through a cycle. It's half of the ten. Um, so you see how that five of pentacles is a part of that ten. So these two cards are really symbolizing some of the same issues and some of the same things in different um different things you're dealing with as far as trying to move your life to the next level trying to move your work to the next level or trying to really get to where you feel like you need to be to be comfortable whatever that means to you as a scorpio so with the five um like i said these cards could could indicate um moves being displaced or just and I feel like it's a displaced from your work, displaced from what you're used to. I don't feel like what you've been doing, um, whether it's work or whether it is something that has to do with just um, home, I don't feel like what you've been doing or what's been sufficing for Scorpio up to this point is going to continue to suffice. But the most important thing is that you don't feel like um, you're alone, that you're desolate, it's a bad move or a bad journey to go on because if you follow it through, I do feel like you're going to have success, Scorpio, in whatever direction you want to take things. You know, um, just be strong. You may be feeling beaten, battered, um, bruised, out in the cold, like you've kind of, you know, got to let go or move on for some, from something that you're used to. But I think in your heart, you know, you're not really there with with whatever it is that you've been into. Your heart isn't in it anymore, and that's why you're really looking to make the change and to do some things differently to, to get to that next level of where you need to be for your personal growth and satisfaction, Scorpio. So um, that's what I'm getting for you guys for this month. And I'm just going to pull a, a Oracle card just to give you some advice on how to deal with what we just talked about um, 
in the readings. So let me just, I had a couple fall out. I'm not going to take those. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'm going to, um, All right, let me cut, guys. All right, good stuff. So, just a little advice from the Oracle deck to help you guys through September. Uh, that's the sacral chakra, which is the number two. I think that's a really good energy for you guys, Scorpio. You guys are the sign of... Um, it's like recreation. One second, my TV came off a of pause, and I don't like it playing. I don't like it playing in the background doing readings. So the sacral chakra, that's a really good um, card for Scorpios. You guys do a rule over transformation, sex, and life and death. Offhand, I believe it is the eighth. Is it the eighth house? That Scorpio rules, if I'm not mistaken, life, death, and things like that. So, you know, very steeped in the underworld, you guys are a water sign. So, um, the sac sacral chakra. Let's take a look at the book. I don't, I, I don't, I haven't pulled the sacral chakra much, and I just want to give you guys exactly what it means so it can help you. I can give my own spin on it, but I'm going to give it to you from the book for this one. So, the sacral chakra. The color is orange, and I'll put it up in the video. The sound is vam, vam. The element is water, water like you, Scorpio. The glands are the testicles and the ovaries. Like I just said, Scorpio rules are over sex, recre recreation, life and death. The key words are I want. So before I read you the description, um, taking it back to the reading, Scorpio, like we talked about, you want something different. I told you that I don't feel like the satisfaction is coming from the same things that the satisfaction has came, um, come from for Scorpio. And when I talk about changing and standing there and surveying and seeing what direction you want to go, that's creating a new path for yourself and you rule over things like that. So I feel like the sacral chakra card is really telling you to go into your creative place when it says um the areas that this rules are the ovaries and the testes those are the glands of um creation of uh, uh, procreation recreation whatever you want to say and um that can be symbolized and that can be syn synonymized to creation and whatever you want to create so we're not just talking about creating life or creating kids we're talking about manifesting destiny creating what it is in your tangible world that you are thinking in your mind that you see in your mind and one thing about scorpios um just making a distinction between pisces scorpio and cancer one thing's about scorpios is scorpios are very um goal oriented cancers we, you know, Pisces kind of ways through life. They definitely get things done and they definitely are accomplished on their own time. But they kind of drift through life kind of dreamily. Cancers, very good leaders, very good starters. But they're the type, we're the type of people, we need assistance. We need people to kind of follow it up, keep us on track sometimes to see things through to fruition. But Scorpio is a sign where they are motivators to me. They they are goal-oriented people. Scorpio will come up with a goal. They will have set in their mind what they want to do, what they want to accomplish, and it doesn't matter where they come from. It doesn't matter how rich or how poor Scorpio is. They accomplish their goals, and they 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 follow things through. They they follow things through from the beginning to the from the inception to the closing to the end. And um, you really have that power. And I I don't think there's any more perfect card. When I do these readings, I, I sometimes can't believe how on point the cards are and how much they tie into each other. So I just pull them and I talk because they 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 do their own thing. So then the, I'm going to read you the description for the book just to leave you with this and let you think on it. Um, besides my own description of what the sacral chakra meant to me for you guys. So in the book it says known as the sacral chakra, the second the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity and sexuality. Those are all things that are water signs, Scorpio, those are all things that are you. To activate this chakra, 
Visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly area. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and sends orange sparks out into the universe. By energizing the sacral chakra, you attract creativity, joy, passion, and 